What's up, guys? Welcome, welcome back to the channel. So, all right, yeah, uh, I'm already running into some issue with True Net Scale, and honestly, it's starting to make me rethink my decision, and I might be going back to Proxmox, but let's talk about it. Okay, so before I get into my rant, I just do want to say this. Uh, I think TrueNest Scale is a great system, right? I'm not switching away from it because it's a bad system, far from it actually, but I've decided not to use it as the baseline for my environment. The main reason is that a lot of the features, especially the ones that revolve around virtualization and container, still feel like they are in active development. And for me, what I'm trying to build and what I'm trying to put together in this environment, I need something that's a little bit more stable. I'm definitely going to keep using TrueNest Scale, but I'll I'll be running it on top of Proxmox instead. Based on what I've experienced so far, I just don't think TrueNet Scale is the right choice to be the main driver in my current setup and in my current environment. Just want to be clear about that. It's not so much that TrueNet Scale is bad, it's that it's just not stable enough for me to use it as the main driver for the environment that I'm currently working on. So. Now let's get to the rant as to why I'm switching over. So if you cut my last video, you know I installed Nextcloud on TrueNAS scale, but I quickly realized that I kind of jumped the gun a bit. I needed to set up a proper certificate of 30, DNS, and a few other components for the lab environment before deploying more applications. So I decided to spin up a new Windows domain controller or new Windows VM to handle the internal CA and DNS for the lab. That's where things started going sideways. Man, I ran into a whole bunch of problems, one of which was that I couldn't add an extra storage to the VM, and getting the Windows Server up and running was, it was a headache. It was starting to feel like I was spending more time trying to get the VM up and running, rather than get going on the things that I need to do to get my lab environment to where I want it to be. So after digging into it for a few, I found that a lot of people were dealing with similar issues. Many recommended that updating to the latest TrueNet scale, which is uh, Fangtooth 25.04, resolve a lot of the virtualization problems. And that's what I noticed a lot. It seems like you will have to wait for an update to fix your issue. And that's fair because I do feel like scale, TrueNAS scale, especially the virtualization and container side of things is still being heavily developed. So I figure, hey, why not? Let's go ahead and run this update and let's see if it fixed a lot of my issues. I ran the updates, rebooted the system, and when it came back up, my data sets, app, and everything I had been testing prior to running the updates, poof, it was gone. At this point, I started missing Proxmox. <laughs> I'm like, I need to go back to Proxmox ASAP. So here's the thing for me. TrueNet Scale is a great tool. It has a lot of potential, especially with its built-in app catalog and container support, and now virtualization but it's still in development. Even the instance tab literally says experimental, and I'm starting to feel like I shouldn't build my entire lab, put in all this work on something that is rapidly being changed. I really wanted TrueNet Scale to be the foundation for this lab, and one of the reasons why I did not want to virtualize it was me trying to avoid any potential pass-through issues that I might run into, but I need something reliable, like I've said several times <laughs> in, this, in this video, especially when it comes to virtualization. So here's the new plan. I'm gonna go with Proxmox as my main hypervisor, and I'm going to run TrueNAS Scale as a VM on top of it. This gives me a lot of flexibility, like I said earlier, so it gives me the ability to take snapshot, easily roll back, and overall stability. So for example, if I had been running TrueNAS Scale inside of Proxmox as a VM, I could have just taken a snapshot before updating and rolling back with no data loss or no headache whatsoever. But I don't feel so bad about losing some of the things that I've been working on because I'm still in the process of getting everything up and running. But I just don't feel like I should be taking that chance and being hard-headed and saying that I'm gonna take a chance, I'm gonna keep troubleshooting it, <laughs> I'm going to try to fix it. Especially when a lot of the fixes are kind of dependent on um, running some sort of like update to the latest version. And the problem with that that I've noticed as well too is that you will run an update, by the way, I don't think I said that, but when I ran the update, it did fix 
uh, some of the issue, new features were added, I could add a uh, drive, uh, hard drive easily, I could do all of these other things that I was running into, but now my data set is gone, <laughs> my apps are gone. So uh, the problem there is that when you're dependent on things that needs to be updated, for you to fix the problem that you're running into. And when you run that update, it breaks something else that you have to fix. That is a massive headache when you're trying to focus on learning and building other things as well, right? And part of the process um, of having a lab is to struggle through things, but you also have to uh, manage your struggles, <laughs> right? you, you have to know what you want to fight with and what you don't want to fight with. And right now, it's just that I feel like a lot of things with uh, fixes are out of my hand because I have to wait till they, they update things. And I, that's the route that I don't want to take right now. I do like Proxmox, I'm going to go with Proxmox and I'm going to go from there. I promise to keep things real and talk about the issues I run into. And yes, I am definitely running into some issues, but hey, you know, that, my friend, that's not a bad thing. It's all part of the learning process. We build things, we put things together, and we say like, hey, this is not gonna work the way I, I thought it was going to work, and then you rebuild it. So in my case, TrueNAS, as much as I wanted it to work, is not a TrueNAS scale, as much as, because I've heard that core is much more stable. But as much as I wanted it to work, is not there yet for me. Uh, I am gonna keep using it, but I'm just going to run it. Well, it's not there yet for me in terms of using it as the baseline for my environment. It is there for me in terms of using it and installing it on top of Proxmox and using Proxmox as the baseline, but using it solely as the baseline, it's not there yet for me, especially when it comes to virtualization and container. Thank you guys for watching. As always, if you haven't done so already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thumbs up if you have enjoyed the video. Uh, on my next video, I'm gonna, I said, going back to drawing board. On my next video, I'm going to be installing Proxmox on this guy and then gonna kick up from there and start building the things that I have in mind to build. So stay geeking, guys. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.